Football Manager 2024 is here, and that means the Rangers rebuild is also here. Big Phil is hoovered out, and we need to rebuild Rangers. It's as simple as that. Now, they've added a new feature to uh, Football Manager this year where you can load your Football Manager 23 saves. Now, obviously, I'm on a different console, so I don't believe you could do that, but I almost think that's pointless in a way. Like, I get it. Some people want to continue their saves, but, like, the whole point of a new game is that it's a new game. Like, if you're just loading your squad for last year... Like, what's the point of that, like, really? Because you want to play with a new team, like what Rangers have got. Like, let's say I'm playing last year's game and I've made, like, 10 signings. You're going to be continuing with that rather than, like, what... Well, I mean, to be honest, with Rangers' signings in the summer, you'd probably rather do your own fucking save for last year. But would it take... Like, would it take into consideration, like, what year you're in? Like, would you just start in 2027 if that's where you left it off? To me, that's a weird feature, but <laughs> I can't use it. So, it's kind of relevant me talking about it. But anyway, let's start a new game. Do you consider yourself an experienced football manager player? Yes. It's a yes for me. There is the English Premiership. Let's see what teams are licensed there. Uh, well, Man City, the only team licensed. It's looking that way. The Oil Club. The club that's only existed... For about 15 years. Oh, yeah, he's my, he's my chef. Go on. Aye, fucking brilliant. That's what that is. Right, anyway, let's go down to Scotland. That's what we're here for. Um, and every team's licensed down here. Um, every team is licensed down here. Squad ability for Celtic is three and a half stars. Um, Aberdeen, two and a half stars. We've got Dundee sitting at a two star squad ability. We've got Hearts sitting at a three star squad ability. Hibernian. Two and a half squad ability. Uh, we've got Kelly, two and a half squad ability. Uh, Livingston, we've got two and a half. Um, then we've got Motherwell at two and a half. Rangers are three and a half. So, see Rangers and Celtic, right? How's their reputation national? Like, national is within Scotland. How are Rangers and Celtic's reputation the same as fucking Livingston? I'm not, I'm, I just don't buy that. I mean, the, the fact you're in Europe means automatically you should be international because. You know, you're across a bunch of nations. Across the nation. Uh, Raw 2002. But, here, uh, anyway, we, we, we digress and we move on. But, Ross County, two and a half. St. Johnston, two and a half stars. Uh, we then have St. Mirren, of course, who are a two and a half star team. Now, you can pick the option to pick a team later. But that would be more of your do a journey, man. And I might do that. But, for this save, of course, it's going to be Rangers. Create game. Boom. Here we go. Right, so... Um, my world, my world, down, down, down. Oh! Hold on, whoa, so hold on. We've got three different game modes. Uh, original, the original way to play Football Manager, updated squads will be in use at the start of each new career, even though those transfers hadn't happened yet by the correspondent real life date. So that's like basically what FIFA does. Real world, players will start at the clubs where they're at the start of this career, then they move to the new club on the same day they did as the real life career progresses. Um. Okay, but then this one, your world, club squads and budgets will be accurate as of the start of the 2023-24 season with no real life transfers reflected after that date. Now, of course, as I, uh, well, see, I actually thought the your world would have been today, the 9th of November, and then it would have been like, right, I'm taking over literally today as we have a Europa League <laughs> game but there is no option for that but I'm just going to go with the original I don't really see why I wouldn't go with the original a fan set up uh, let's see so add countries game speed I don't want to kill the game speed but we want to we want to fuck I mean it's PS5 for fuck's sake if we can't if we, if we can't start uh, doing that like what can you do all right, so I mean, I would like to include the top five leagues, but right, we'll include Germany. I mean, we're still at five speed here, so you, you can include ten. I'm going to assume that the PS5 can handle a decent bit, right? So let's just see here. What else have we got? Um, got Spain. Four and a half star speed. I think I'll just pick Italy, and then I might pick like one of the home nation leagues. Uh, let's see, Italy. I'm going past the I. So happens you didn't learn the alphabet till you're about 15. Anyway, Italy coming in there. Um, ah, fuck it, that's the... I was going to add some of the home nations, but what's the point of killing the game speed for a bunch of Diddy leagues, if we're being honest? Right, so let's hit next. Uh, start the game. You select the 14 leagues. 
The game will start in Scotland in July 2023. There we have it. Scotland, we're starting. Football managers here. 44.99. This game costs. Will it be worth it? It probably will be. I think, I think you get your I think you get your money's worth it. A football manager for the amount of hours that you put into it. There's games you spend money on these days, and I mean, I think with I think with football games it's a bit different. I think you are destined to spend hours, but there's other games where you just you know you give up after two hours. But here it's probably going to take two hours for us to load, considering the game speed. But it's irrelevant because we are going to take Rangers to the top, the very top right name. So we've got to create our uh, pro. Um, there we go. Boom. Uh, done. Over to surname. We don't need all capitals for that, really. Um, right, Europe S Scottish. Um, let's see. Date of birth. Boom. I mean, uh, it's so complicated having to use this. Right, down to October. And then. Probably would have been easier actually if I just used the calendar. Uh, right, confirm. For God's sake, man, really? Oh, this shite. Right, height. Uh, I mean, height's really irrelevant, isn't it? Like, if we're being honest. Uh, like, you just got massive uh, Skinny, randomised. Oh. Make him a big fat bastard. Put him somewhere in there. Head. Fuck me, here's Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's going on there? Honestly. Jacket. I mean, the. Ability aids. Hearing aid. Eye patch. What the fuck is this? Who wants to wear an eye patch? A red, white, and blue eye patch. Well, I mean that might that might work. Um, left. Secondary color. Blue. Is that not? I mean, you could do a label badge. Uh, all right, let's see what label badges we've got. I'm a football manager. That's what we'll have. Uh, ring wrist. No, I'll do We've got a wee red, white, and blue eye patch for foot. There we go. We've got the, the straps white, so there we go. I mean, look at that. Jesus Christ. We're delighted to welcome Stevie Cool as our new manager. Stevie's board full back in, and we are excited for the times ahead. Graham Wallace says, I'm happy enough with this. Um, Lexi Little says, Hiring Stevie Cool is a bad decision. Luke Price says, Will be very interesting to see how he gets on at Rangers. <laughs> Here we go, guys. There's the free kits. Um, upcoming season. Uh, just talking a little shite, we're at the third qualifying round, of course, 51.2k capacity, brilliant, um, yeah, I mean, 12-13, that was a pretty uh, shite season for us, wasn't it, to say the least, right, principles, we get ourselves a trophy, probably the only trophy we're going to get all season, we, we trophy there, right, so let's see here, suggest, dedication, all right, Hold on, what, do, what do I want for my players? Um, perfectionism. Uh, I think they're the three they said we should have went with, so we may as well go with them now. Career milestones. Uh, I mean, there we go. I mean, the eye patch. Maybe after like two, maybe when we get sacked or something, we'll whip off the fucking eye patch. Big heel turn, but he, he replaced his previous manager, Philippe Clement, who was actually in charge of Rangers for minus four months, because... That's just how the timeline works. Hello, I am your press officer, John. I will keep me up to date with news from around the football world. I'm enclosing a copy of TeamTalks.com article on your appointment. Boom. Right, what else we got in here? We've got, right, I'll accept the current vision because if I can't live up to it, then I deserve fuck all. All uh, right, so we've got a lot of contracts potentially running out, a lot of jobbers, to be honest, but let's just apply, recommend it. Uh, contract offer to Leon Balogun. Fucking hell, man. I really love a wee bit of Leon Balogun. So there we go. Right, what else? Right. Obviously brand new. Does it look any different? I've seen a few memes that, like, <laughs> that kind of buries this. And it's like, oh, it's the same old pish. But, yeah, I mean, what do we expect? I like the way football managers. You don't want to make them have drastic changes to the game or else they could potentially ruin it. But then how game would you ruin it? Player marking. 
Sono player marking, man. See, I'm fucking. I do not want to see another Sono marking yet again. Um, for the counter attack for the set piece, uh, near post. There the wee flick on she get. In swinger. Seven van der Heiden. What a man he is. Uh, right, so next. Right. So we've got all our players. Boom. Sort it. Dundee, United, make loan approach for Adam Define. Uh, go ahead and accept that. Why not? It's not really going to be. Right, Robbie Fraser, Queen of the South, want him. Jesus Christ, we're getting all these transfer offers here. Sterling loan offer for McCausland. Um, yeah, why not? Is that, is that it? Right, so, oh, fuck, our next game's today, 12th of July, against Sport. Uh, we say Sparta Prague, not Spartak Thistle troops, it's Spartak Thistle, so... Ah, so the, the fixtures are like real life, obviously, though, European games will be a bit different. Um, but I think we need to I think we need to go into the squad here and sort the team out. Tactics. Let's just see what the, the, the game picks for us. So this is what the game has picked for us. We've got Danilo, Matondo, Cantwell, Sima, Sifentes, Raskin, Barisic, Davies, Goldson... Tavernier and I prefer John Suter, but what rating is John Suter compared to Davies? Doesn't really change much. And then we've got 12 players there. I mean, see, who do you bring in? That is the real question because even though some of these players are shite in real life, they're not necessarily shite in, um, in football manager terms. But anyway, we're going to go in to this game against Partick Thistle. We're going to play it. Why not? Just to get used to the game. Play a game here in episode one, and uh, hopefully, I mean, I say hopefully, it should be a victory. We're going to play the strongest team, because there's really no reason not to play the strongest team at this stage, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully it can result in a win, but uh, we've got Chris Dolan as a manager. Uh, I mean, do I recognise anyone here for this part of the Thistle team? No, they're all a bit pish, aren't they? But Brian Graham, I know him, but he's on the, he's on the substitutions bench, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, tell you what. It's a pretty packed out crowd here over in Partick, so let's see how it's going to go. And there is our team. Danilo doesn't have a face. And things like that really annoy me. What's the excuse for this guy not having a face? I was about to say EA. EA sure as hell don't make this game. So who the hell does make this game? I'm not too sure. But the highlights are going here. We're five minutes in to this game against Partick Thistle here. We Glasgow Derby. Partick Thistle there. And I can't well very slow gameplay but I'm pretty sure it was offside there but it fell over to Danilo James Tavenier loses it to McEn McEnroy Milne out to Snodden Snedden good night right come on I think I might need to speed up these highlights here because we're walking a bit like snails absolute snails is Raskin out to Tavenier Tavenier launches it in Matondo can't quite get on it Matondo I mean the goalie didn't even save that way his arm he just I think, it was, I think it was a shoulder block save. Tav goes for something, but then it goes in to the next highlight. So, I mean, an alright start, but you'd like to think we'd maybe open the score in here, potentially, with our strongest team being out there. Um, but, of course, we can make as many substitutions as we want. It's Tav in here. To Cantwell. To Goldson. Goldson. Lovely ball up to Tav in here. Somehow kept it in. Tav in here. Ah, Cantwell out to goal. Oh, no, no, no. Tav in here again. Falls 10. What can he do? He whips it in. Goalie saves it, man. I tell you what, Partick Thistle defending well. Rangers don't really have an answer here early on in this friendly. As it's up to Goldson, he flicks it down, and again we lose it. McMillan over to McKenzie. Could the tackle be made? Jack Butland fucking parries at it. I see no reason why he couldn't have just caught that. See if they score for this. We go one 0 down. My shite, so this event is can't quite beat me only to it, but look at that. They've got a better XG than us. Same amount of corners. They've even committed more fouls. Let's get on. Very interesting. We've had a shot off screen, off screen shot there as we approach the half time whistle. Eight minutes to go, seven minutes to go, six minutes to go, five minutes to go. Corner bar a sitch here to Cantwell. He flicks it forward to Danilo. The net's the other way, son. The net's the other way. Hits the post. He can't quite direct it into the back of the net. It's now Seema. 
takes the throw in. To Nico Raskin. Launches a, a 40 yard pass back the way. I mean, honestly, what was the need? Tavenier takes that extra touch, skins his man. Danilo, free header. We just can't quite get the final product sorted. Someone cooked here. Come on, Goldson. Someone needs to cook up the other end of the pitch. The Goldson's just standing here. Sima. Over to Tavenier. Tavenier. Looking for a ball. Oh, it's defended well there by Williams. Partick Fissel. I'll tell you what, man. I think we're looking at 11 straight substitutions at halftime. Because what, what's this? That performance ain't good enough. John Suter out to Barisic. Barisic looking for a run. Danilo, yes, and it's in off the crossbar. Bora Barisic with the assist. Danilo with the goal. It was a great wee goal in the end here. Suter flicks out to Barisic, who just kept running. It's like, you know what? I'm going to let you close me down. I'm going to whip it in. In off the crossbar. And Danilo loves a wee head at goal, doesn't he, man? That seems to be his, the guy's cup of tea. To say the least. But there we go. Half time in this game. And uh, we're going to make, maybe not make 11 substitutions, but going to make a decent amount, so I'm going to bring on Scott Wright, Brian Jack, I'm going to bring on Lammers, uh, Serial Dessers from Matondo, but Matondo scored, I don't give a rat's ass, right, we're going to bring on Lawrence from Matondo there, Balligan, Connor Goldson, and that'll do us for now, a lot of substitutions here at half time, but uh, well, how many did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, something like that. Is McEnroy's picked up an injury there for Partick Thistle, but Scott Wright. Scott Wright on for Seema. What can Scott Wright do? With five minutes into the second half. Sterling whips it in. It was a loft at ball. Lawrence can't get anywhere near it though. Out to Borna Barisic. On Barisic. Get another second assist to Scott Wright. Off the crossbar, Scott Wright really should have been. Well, I say really. I mean, it was a tough. It was a tough header. I'm not going to bury him too much for that. But Rangers eight shots to one. Partick Thistle. They were leading XG not too long ago, but they're leading hee-haw now. Scott Wright doing this right-hand side back to Sterling. Now it's Jack. Now it's event is Suter. Out to Barisic. He's looking for something. Up to Lawrence. Lawrence, that's a great save, man, there for the goalie, and I'll tell you what, it wins. Wait, a goal kick? Hold up. Wait, so was, it, was that a goal kick? Because they said a goal kick in the text, but I, I mean, I was sure he saved it. My bad, it's just taking a corner. And ball again, misses from like two yards out, Jesus. Right, time out a wee substitution. Right, who, so who's been, uh, let's see here, John Lundstrom, who can come on. Davies could come on. Uh, there's no other I mean, defensive players that really can come on. So we're going to bring on McCrory from Butland. And it looks like Barisic is going to be the only guy not to get subbed off. For Rangers. But come on, Lawrence. Whip it in. Balag it. Wait. Did that hit off the crossbar or did that hit off the back of the net and it didn't count? Because honestly, it looked like it hit off the fucking net. In the back of the net. And I'm expecting goal, and it just doesn't even bother popping up. I take Partick Thistle. Don't want to lose one 0 here. They'll have a bit of confidence score into their championship season, but we've got ten minutes to go. I guess that could change. Sterling, probably for the worse, to be honest, because we haven't really been threatened. But it only takes one moment for Partick Lundstrom and Jack Lincoln up Balligan. Dujon Sterling, back to oh Lundstrom man, how sloppy can you be there? Now Robinson, the referee, is making a better run than half the Partick Thistle players. McMillan up against Borna Barasic. Out to Nielsen. Lammers wins it, but back to McMillan. Out to McKenzie. McKenzie looking for a pass. Back to Nielsen. I mean, seriously, we're under the cosh here against fucking Partick. As Dujon Stone brings it down. Goes on a run. Needs to find someone. It's Scott Wright. He's found Sam Lammers. Gets booted. Oh, it's through to Serial Dessers. And why can't they link up like that in real life, man? That's the only question I've got. I mean, guys whipped like a 30 yard pass out of nowhere. Dessers has brought it down. First time control and put it into the bottom right hand corner. This game, you know, often raved about for its realism. I'm calling horse shit because this just wouldn't fucking happen in real life. I can guarantee it. But Dessers puts it in. Partick Thistle. They've held it, but in the end, it looks like they're heading towards a 2 0 defeat here. 
Or could it be 3-0? Because Balogun steps over this free kick. Looking for a pass. Out to Dushan Sterling. Now uh, Sterling going on a wee run. Sterling! Shite shot. Blazed over. I actually landed it in the car park that's behind the stadium to sum things up. Not good there for Partick Thistle, but we've got about 10 seconds left of this game. And that is full time. I mean, clean sheet, two goals. The strikers scoring goals, getting assists. I mean, I guess you could say it was a positive game. Scott Wright has picked up an injury, sadly. He's only going to be at, um, five to six days, though, which isn't too bad. Uh, we've got a friendly up next against a ACAC. Uh, Bolt make a loan move for Johnny Yafeko. John Lee Yafeko? John Lee? It's a weird John Lee. John Lee. Is that all about? Right. ASSE. The ASSE Arena. Uh, Carlisle have made that. I don't, I'm not really bored where he goes, to be honest. As long as team fucking. Right. Well, Devine's left to go to Dundee United. Fraser's left to go to Queen of the South. Anyone else want to make a move? Uh, Yafeko. Boom. Right, so we're going to end this episode as Hamilton make... Oh, I oh, will right, accept that. We're going to end it... Fuck me, man. How many players are wanting to go out on loan? Right. So we're going to end this episode after we sim this game against ASSE. So we're going to start with the exact same team we did last game. Uh, hopefully it results in a win. But we're going to see here, in this friendly, how is it going to go? 15th... I'm going to predict 3-0 to Rangers. I think it'll be comprehensive. Fuck, 7-2. Fair enough. Um, Goldson got a brace a minute apart for each other Todd Campbell got a hat trick James Tavenier got a goal Wallid uh, Herbert missed oh no he scored their own goal and, and Goldson missed a fucking penalty so Goldson is out here on a hat trick they let him take the penalty and he missed it Tavenier no step in and be like right mate I'm the guy that takes the penalties around here that's actually probably the biggest shock from this episode but that's going to do it for episode 1 here of this uh, career mode on the Football Manager 2024. Looks fun. Looking forward to it, of course. We are essentially playing the real-life fixtures, so up next will be Flancy in two weeks' time. But there will be, I think, some transfers in between now and then. So make sure you comment who you want me to sign. But until next time, peace.